Hello everyone, it is 6 in the morning, I just got off of work, and I decided this would be a good time to go ahead and film my, uh, fifth attempt at a Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke challenge, meaning, yes, I have in fact failed the first four times. So, for those of you who do not, uh, know what a Nuzlocke challenge is, it's basically where you, uh, use three basic rules... Uh, plus any additional modifier rules that you may find appropriate or necessary um, to either further make your game difficult or possibly just ease up on the challenge of the Nuzlocke itself. But basically, it's a different way to play Pokemon. Now, the only real way to do a Nuzlocke is entirely uh, through um, voluntary self-will uh, or... Uh, or not self-will, self-control, or force of will, or whatever you want to call it. Um, or I suppose, you know, you could you know, do what I'm doing and film it. So, we are going to go ahead and do a couple of videos, um, mostly split up, on doing the Nuzlocke. Uh, I am planning on trying to cut out as much of the unnecessary grindy footage as possible, but we're still going to have, you know, going from town to town... Um, I mostly want to focus on the gym battles in the Elite Four, assuming I get there. Um, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and go through the ground layer rules for the way the Nuzlocke's work. So, um, I'm doing a mostly basic Nuzlocke, which means I will be uh, only catching the first Pokemon that I meet in any given area. Uh... If that Pokemon happens to faint, then it's a loss. Um, I will also be adding in a personal rule. Uh, this is not necessary for the original Nuzlocke challenge, but I will not be using legendary Pokemon that are acquired, and I will not be using anything given to me by an NPC, including hatched eggs, although I will still hold on to them. Uh, the second Nuzlocke rule is that if a Pokemon faints, I can no longer use it. I will personally be putting them in a storage box just for memorial purposes, but uh, sometimes people will just release them in the wild, and I will also be naming all of my Pokemon as well. As you can see, my first Pokemon is this here Torchic, uh, which I ended up naming Zuko. Um, I did skip over all of the unnecessary intro stuff, but yeah, I just, I got a Torchic, I named it Zuko because Zuko is one of my favorite cartoon characters in general, and that's the direction that, uh, I decided to go. So yeah, we got, um, Blaze is his ability, Naive, met at level 5 in round 1. I haven't got the Pokemons yet, which means uh, I don't necessarily have to start the Nuzlocke. So let's go ahead and go find our rival. Um, it's also worth noting that I am playing this on an, em on an emulator, so I am choosing to use the speed up option so that we don't have to deal with nearly as much uh, drag, I guess is the best way to put it. Because, like, there are natural ways to speed up the game, like just pressing B and A all the time. But um, I've decided that the best way for me to go about it is to uh, speed it up in general. That way it's, you know, it doesn't take forever. Like, this would be so much slower if it wasn't already sped up and this is already like feeling somewhat grindy even though we've only been doing this for a few minutes so far but yeah i am using an emulator on the phone so depending on the way that they upload it i either will only be showing the screen or you might see the buttons i don't think it really matters though Either way, I cannot for the life of me get this one in particular to go into landscape mode. It's kind of frustrating. Alrighty, we got ourselves a wingle. I'm really hoping for a wingle um, later on. I'm hoping not to uh, die to a wingle or 
we all know. I personally love starting with fire Pokemon. Uh, one, just because... Oh, no, 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 not a water gun. Stop that. Yeah, you stop that. Oh, we're up to level 7, and we did not turn, die to a Wingle, so that's good. Oh, there's me. I think we have already got to go heal up the Torchic at the Pokemon Center. This Torchic's going to be like... All right, I should probably stop saying this Torchic. Zuko is going to be a pretty high level by the time we get this whole ball rolling. But um, as soon as we get these Pokeballs after defeating May. We'll go ahead and head back to these couple zones and uh, pick them up. So yeah, we, we haven't officially had our first match in 101 or 103 because it doesn't count until you already have Pokeballs. At least if from what I understand is the more liberal interpretation of the way that the worlds work. Dude. This Wingo is bound and determined to kill my Torchic. What a jerk. If I catch a Wingo, I'm gonna like destroy it. Alright, so now we have to fight against May's Mudkip. I probably should have healed up Zuko a little bit more. I think I have a potion here I can use. So we'll use that to stall. Uh, and then it's just a matter of scratch versus tackle versus scratch versus tackle. Which, what does focus energy actually do? Now we'll just keep scratching. Scratch. Critical. Knocked out. 69 experience points. Level 8. Ba -ba -ba. All right, we got 300 bucks and a bunch of gibberish. And now I think we have to follow her back to the lab to go get our Pokeballs, which is kind of lame. Right, let's heal up Zuko real quick. All right. <sighs> so there's May again. And she's running off. All right, I gotta remember which one's the professor's house. I think it's this down here. There's a sign up front to tell us. Pokemon. Yep, yeah, that's it. All right, sweet. So we'll just hop right in, go get our Pokeballs. Uh, extensive here. Let's get uh, research Pokédex. All right, we got a Pokédex. Of course, the normal way to go about it. Uh, the only thing is, is it doesn't really do us a whole lot of good in this particular version since we're limited on what we're gonna catch. All right, we have Pokéballs. I think we'll probably have five of them. All right, cool. The Nuzlocke has officially begun. Oh, wait, hold up. Mom wants to talk to us. Yes, of course I did. He just gave me some balls and a Pokemon. All right. Oh, cool. Running shoes so we can go even faster. Press the B button while wearing them. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Thanks, Mom. See you later. All right, let's. All right, first encounter, and we have Wimple. Um, there's there's been worse things, honestly. According to what I was reading online, uh, in Nuzlocks, um, about Nuzlocks, the uh, bug Pokemon are actually really good, especially in the early game, because they level up really fast, which makes sense. That's pretty accurate for um pokemon in general so we have i caught a worm pull pretty quickly pretty easily what do we want to name it 
what's a good name for something that could either turn into a beauty fly or a dust stocks and honestly i don't know exactly how to tell what direction it's gonna go i, I think it's probably randomized but it might have something to do with like nature whatever so oh no it's a bug from what i read online the point is to give it like a name that you really like so i can't just be cheap and be like wormy um hmm. what to name the wormpole what about Hmm. I've got it. We're going to go ahead and name it Boil. Because that is a soda brand that I really like. And yeah, that works for me. So, we now have Boil the Wurmple. And Zuko the Torchic. We need to heal both of them. <clears throat> Sweet. Alright. And then... Let's go ahead and jump over to... We got 102 right here real quick. Let's see if we can't find something. All right, a Poochiana. I personally really like Poochianas just because they're kind of cool looking. Um, in the last successful-ish Nuzlocke that I did, uh, Pooch... Oh, okay. Well, we are not taking that Poochiana home, which is really sad. I should have paid more attention to the health. All right, so we'll come back to this a little bit later. Let's go ahead and go back to up to 103, see if we can get a third Pokemon. Have a good journey, sir. Please give me a wingle. And how does Zigzagoon? Ugh, whatever. Work with what you got. Use Tackle. Back. Pokeball. I don't know if I'll actually snag it. Okay, I guess we did snag it. Cool. Alright, so we have a Zigzagoon. All right, once again, I gotta give it a realistic name. I know it doesn't permanently look fluffy and or spiky looking, but let's see. What do I want to name a zigzagoon? Something relevant to spot. All I can think of when it comes to like the whole spiking nature of the way that zigzagoon looks is like anime characters, like. If I actually enjoyed Dragon Ball Z, I would probably just call it Goku. Just make it super straightforward. You know, I do like Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm just going to call it... Instead of calling it Yu-Gi, making it obvious, I'm going to call it Moto. So we're going to call him Moto the Zigzagoon. Alright, so we have... Zuko, Boyle, and Moto. Sounds <laughs> sounds like a pretty interesting setup for like a joke or something. Okay. Now for the hard part, which is grinding them. So first, um Boyle obviously is going to need the most attention. Let's actually take a look at Boyle. Shield dust prevents added effects. That's really useful. Um, calm nature. Right on meta level two. And then, yeah, we're going to switch him with Zuko. And then Moto, who is not in a much better position. Let's go ahead and do a summary view. Normal type pickup may pick up items. That's kind of cool. So, you know, not bad for some early game stuff, even though they are kind of basic Pokemon. Um, I think ultimately we could have some fun, but I am going to go ahead and keep it on for just a little bit of the grindiness because, um, I think it's only fair to show grinding in the early game so you guys can see if something happens to them. 
but for now, we are just going to use XP <laughs> share until Boil and um, Moto are up to speed and can fight on their own. Yeah. Both got 15. Didn't really make a huge uh, difference. Oh. Okay. Puchiana. Dude, 15 points actually almost jacked Boyle all the way up. Okay, cool. So, Zuko's gonna fight. Boyle's gonna get some experience off of it. Fight. Scratch. How? Man, I wish I had a Puchiana. It's okay, though. They spam a lot in the early game, so there's still a pretty good chance they'll catch one. And if I do, I'll probably just box Zigzagoon. Or, not Zigzagoon, um, Moto. Alright. Yep. You probably should have. Let's go back up here. I don't know if we're supposed to fight that kid or not. There's a Poochie. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 we're not gonna have you fight just yet. Zuko's gonna take that over. Ouch. He tackled my little fire chicken. Why would you do that? Ugh. I hope this actually ends up being a fairly entertaining series. I mean, I'm not you know, an animator or anything like that. I'm not even, like, a professional gamer. I do all of this casually, but I have a lot of fun with it at the very least. Um, still can't actually do anything, so. Zuko, come back out and fight the battle for your little bug buddy. Alright, scratch. Tackle. Scratch. All right, 15 and 15. A Zigzagoon. No, no fighting. Pokemon. Yeah, this is getting pretty repetitive, though. I'm not going to lie. I think I might cut out the grinding since I think it's fairly obvious that I'm not going to take risks losing my Pokemon at this point. I don't want to create this a boring video where I'm just doing this thing. Another thing worth mentioning, by the way, um, is I don't have a whole, or as I don't have the sound going in this one, and you might actually hear cars in the background because I'm parked at a gas station outside of my work. Um, but there's no sound on this one because I have it sped up, and it also speeds up the audio, so that's not exactly bueno. So we are gonna go ahead and. Head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and save the game. I'm going to go do some grinding, and then we will move on from there. Alright, so we got a little bit of grinding done. Uh, our Pokemon are looking much, much better. Um... We got Boyle up to level 6, Moto's at level 7, um, <clears throat> and I think we can go ahead and start moving towards the next town, actually beat some more of these trainers, so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and fight this bug trainer real quick. Pops out a little Wurmple. We also have a Wurmple, but we're not going to actually fight. With Boyle, we're just going to make this a quick little burn the bug situation. It's kind of funny flavor-wise because not only does fire beat bug, but so does chicken. So fire chicken, it's like double weakness. You didn't have a chance at one point. you just like, you done for it. <clears throat> oh, another worm pole. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and funnel a little bit of XP over to Moto. But of course, then we're gonna swap Moto out for 
uh, Zuko. It'd be really exciting once I could kind of have these guys reliably do one. But actually, come to think of it, given the level difference, I probably should have just allowed Moto to finish the fight. Oops. But damage is done. <laughs> Goodbye, Wurmple. All right, Moto and Zuko got a little bit of stuff. And we are ready to move on. All right, fantastic. I don't know if we can fight this little kid. Let's see if we can fight him. Nope. But we did make him sneeze. Oh. 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 Oh, no. It's the kid who usually has a Rattata in other games. <laughs> Youngster Alan sent out a Zigzagoon. Well, we are sending out... Not a Zigzagoon. Let's see if we can get uh, Boyle here to actually beat this Zigzagoon. Uh, let's try a poison sting. Oof. Okay, they're just growling at me now. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think Boyle can beat them, so we'll go ahead and throw Zuko back out there to finish the job. But hey, at least he kind of pulled his weight. You know, as much as you can when you're not actually doing any damage. Oh, it's pretty wild. <clears throat> All right, Zigzagoon is down. Boyle and Zuko got some XP. And they're about to send out a tail Uh, I think we'll go ahead and give this one a moto. You can probably beat it. Yeah, it's only a level 3, so... We'll just go ahead and tackle it to death. And get growled at. Alright, moto is down. <laughs> I called you because I thought I could beat you. Well, I guess you were wrong, bro. Alright, grab some berries. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to bother planting these. Just because I don't see us sticking around in this area for a super long time. Route 1 or 2 to Pelbrook City. I'm going to keep winning to aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. How about you help me further my level grinding? Okay. Um, this didn't go well last time we tried this, so we'll just go ahead and jump straight over to Zuko and have him do the job. And it's not like we were sustaining any serious damage. As a matter of fact, it looks like nobody's taking any damage yet. <coughs> Alright, Boyle and Zuka got some XP. Let's send out a shroom shroomish. Yes. Because bugs actually have power over plant Pokemon. Well, technically speaking, mushrooms are not um, plants. They are a fungus. <coughs> Well, it occurs to me that poison-type moves uh, are also effective against plants, apparently. Alright, Shroomish. Way to go. Alright, Poison Sting again. I hope I actually catch a Shroomish this game. They're actually surprisingly powerful. Alright, boy is at level 7, which means he's probably about to evolve. Yep, you did. You did help me further my career. So much so that my worm pull is about to become some type of... What is it? What is it? It is a silcoon, which means we are going to have a beautifly. Alright, see you later. And we are at Petalburg City. Sweet. Uh, is there really a gym here? Oh. All right. So I guess we get to jump right into that. Let's go ahead and heal up these Pokemon. I'm going to assume I'm going to want the entire team to be at level 10 before I take the gym. Uh, so we're probably going to have to head back out and do a little bit more grinding. Let's check this place out real quick. What's up, dude? Um, all I see is a green sprite. 
<laughs> is asking me how things are going. Traveling is wonderful. I used to run the seas and mountains. Cool for you, dude. Just out here checking out the town. Just having a good old time. Uh, let's see. Does Pokemon Center or gym up? Oh, are you maybe a rookie trainer? They first check out what kind of gym is in the town. Oh, I can't move forward until I beat the gym. Alright, what kind of gym is it? Norman? It sounds like this is going to be like a normal type gym. If it isn't Royal Pain. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm guessing this is probably my end story dad. Oh, it is. See, like it says dad right here. Now, this is Wally, that weird kid. Okay. So now we have to, like, teach Wally how to catch something, if I remember right from the last time that I played this. And he just, like, hops over here and immediately I runs into, like, a Ralts or something like that. Yeah. I ran into a Ralts earlier when grinding, and I was really upset about the fact that that is apparently not something uh, I was going to be catching, at least not yet. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll head back over to the grass and find a Ralts, but most likely we're going to find a Ziggy or a Poochiana. Well, not over here, because we can't catch it anyway, but... I know there's a couple more spots where I have a chance of catching a Ralts, which would be nice. I'm doing a tutorial on catching a Pokemon like we haven't already caught two. Admittedly, two really basic Pokemon. Congratulations, Wally. You have a Ralts. All right, sweet. All right, bye, Royal Pain. See you later. Oh, okay. So I don't actually fight at this gym. This is just, I guess this is the gym that my dad runs or whatever. In Game Dad. My dad definitely doesn't want a gym. He's too old for that. <clears throat> well, while we're here, uh, it would probably be stupid not to prepare. So let's go ahead and grab some potions. Uh, we got 2,000. So let's grab four potions. And then we'll grab two Pokeballs. And then another potion. Spend all the money! All of it! All of the money! Alright, cool. So now we're gonna go find Roxanne, who, based off of the name and chances of a bit being a pun, uh, is most likely. Uh oh. Uh oh! Dude from the gla with glasses! What? What? Excuse me, get back here. All right, we're on Route 104. Let's go ahead and find us an encounter. I believe the guy just came over and just like dissed me. Like, no big deal. It's like, was it? All right, Poochiana. Okay, we can work with this. Uh, Boyle. Um, I don't know. Should I use Moto to fight him? I remember Poochiana as a mighty and I can actually get a pretty diverse skill set. So, I think it's really important not to knock it out this time. Because he can pick up, like... I mean, obviously he can pick up dark moves because he's a dark type, but... He can also get fighting moves and stuff like that. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead and rescue anymore. We're just going to go ahead and start checking Pokeballs until we have them. One, two, three. Got him! Boom! We got a Poochiana! Okay... Go ahead and give it a nickname. This boy. What do we want to name it? What do we want to name? How about we name him? I gotta give him a cool name. Go give him like a darkness inspired name. What kind of name do I want to give him? Let's see. Who's a cool character we can name him after? Hmm. I 
can't think of anything off the top of my head. What about biter? We're going to spell it wrong. Yeah, biter. That makes sense, right? Okay, apparently we can come over here and get a boat at some point in time. Uh-oh. Aha, a zigzagoon. Boil. Fight. Tackle it. Not, okay, no. We're not going to bother with that. Uh, we'll just have Zico come out and handle it. Burn the zigzagoon. It is dead. Oh, it's a sea dot. Yeah, we're gonna change it to a different Pokemon. You need to get Boil back out there. All right, come on, Boil. All right, Poison Sting. Boom. Just gonna keep doing it. All while C Dot is over here just growing like a madman. Just keep growing, C Dot. Keep going. Poison Sting. Super effective. Harden. Way too late. Poison Sting. Super effective. And now we're gonna use Tackle. Now, actually, you know what? We should do. We should have used Harden. That would have. That would have definitely made it a lot easier. Alright, cool. You got sand in my runners? Is that what they're calling it? No. I'm guessing it's talking about his tennis shoes. Alright, cool. Well, it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of grinding, so I want to come back when the team is all at least at level 10. Um, and then we will see where we go from there. Alright, so getting back to it. A um, couple quick updates since the little break. Uh, we got the team up to levels 9, 10, and 11 respectively, and we ended up removing Moto the Zigzagoon. Uh, I read somewhere online that you want to keep your team at like less than 4 until you get to the 4th gym, so that's kind of the route that I'm going. And Zigzagoon doesn't really seem that great, but he is at level 7, so he should be fairly easy to level up if we end up desperately needing to fill a spot, but <clears throat> in the meantime, we're going to focus on these three. Um... I'm hoping to kind of more or less get like a specialized build out of my bug Pokemon for now. Um, boil here. And uh, ultimately, I reckon Biter's just going to end up being kind of a tank. Just because he, uh, he does a lot of damage and he's pretty resistant. So yeah, here in a second, I'm going to run over to the Mart real quick grab some potions, and then we're going to go ahead and just advance our game. Because uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'll get two of these. Yes, I want two, even though seven's kind of my lucky, unlucky number. Um, if I remember right, I believe the Safari Zone's coming up here soon, so we're going to want to go ahead and see what we catch. On top of the fact that we're moving to the next town and getting ready for the first gym battle. You know what, before we head out, let's go ahead and just get one last final heal in. And then we can go ahead and start our long journey. Yes, I would like to restore our Pokemon. Thank you for waiting. Bye-bye. Alright. And off we go. Uh, I'm hoping to get a bird Pokemon fairly soon. Um, uh, obviously, a Tallow would be nice, but a Wingo, I think, would be my optimum choice if I had one. Oh, 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 that's right. Um, yeah, bad matchup. Let's not lose one of our only Pokemon. <laughs> Forgot about that. Hop right on over to Biter and have him finish him off. You know, you gotta admit, uh, Poochianas are surprisingly cute for angsty little goth puppies. 
Okay, stupid bird is gone. And so are we. I already picked the berries. I look came over here a little oh. Um yeah, sure. Let's let's fight it out then. What is someone dressed like that doing with Pokemon? Particularly a zigzagoon. You could do so much better, lady. Come on. Uh, oh, tail whip. You know, I imagine uh, a zigzagoon doing a tail whip would be a very effective way to sweep the floor. And I don't mean that in the uh, battle sense. I mean, like, and the literal zigzagoon would be probably be a great option for uh, housekeeping. All right. Take that, Zigzagoon. That's right, get hurt by poison. More tail whipping. More housekeeping. And it's gone. Oil is now level 10. That is a lot of. Wait, why am I evolving already? That's ridiculous. Da da da! Beauty fly! Let's to learn absorb. Seems like a good idea. Now, obviously, we're gonna leave a move. Um, I think we'll ditch drink shot now. Yeah, well, no, we're gonna drop harden. String slot's somewhat more useful than. Uh. Pardon, not by a large shot, obviously, but... Okay, so first off, we need to rearrange the team. The whale's taking a little bit of damage, and that's not good. So we'll go ahead and swap him over for Biter. Uh, and then... Ooh, what direction do I want to go for our first encounter? Let's go this way. It's a Wurmple. Well, that's a waste. Okay. Uh, we'll just tackle it to death. I was hoping for something a little bit more interesting, but... That's what happens. Uh-oh. Biter has poison. That's not... That's... That's how you lose Pokemon! Okay. Zuko, come out and finish this off real quick, and then we're gonna have to rush to the Pokemon Center. Uh. All right, so yeah, we got to rush back before Biter gets knocked out. Uh, we may have to feed him a potion just to get him there. Is at 10. I think poison does one point of damage. Yeah, we can't risk it, so we're up going. Uh, there we go. Kind of a desperation move, but you do what you gotta do. Alright. Gotta deal with this wingle real quick. Oh, I forgot. I am still dealing with this poisoned Pokemon. Let's swap over. We'll just have Boyle do it. And I think we're already off on an adventure. Tackle, take him out, and boom. All right. Now let's rush. Rush aggressively. And probably stop by the mart and buy some antidotes so we don't have to worry about this again. All right. Rest the Pokemons. All right. And... Run to the mart. Grab more stuff. 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get, like, five antidotes. And then stock up on some extra potions. Looks like we can get three more. Alright, we'll come back to this in just a minute. Alright, so it has been a bit of uh, time since the last time that I uh, worked on this video. <laughs> Bit a bit of a long time, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't move on to the next stage now. Um, so we've already lost our catch option in the safari zone, or at the very least, this section of it. So let's go ahead and move forward and do some trainer battles and hopefully get to the next gym. Uh, I should say the next city, and then we can go ahead and close it off from there, and we'll start the next one at the gym. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and square off against some bugs. These are typically pretty easy to beat. So, this is just free XP. So we'll use Biter to go ahead and get some damage in, since uh, Zuko is already pretty high up there. Use another one pole. No. Uh, according to a couple of different uh, Nuzlocke people, people who do this regularly, they reckon bug Pokemon are only good during the early game, which makes sense to me. The last time I attempted a Nuzlocke, I ended up boxing my. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying this. I'm really not paying that much attention, am I? Um, I ended up boxing my dust ox because that's what I got last time. Uh, pretty much as soon as I got to the third or fourth gym, just because they really aren't that good. Um, they can sometimes have really good special attacks, but ultimately, uh, they don't. They don't really hold a good long-term advantage. But at the very least, they can fill a slot in the later game and are pretty helpful in the early game. So I think probably as soon as my Pokemon start reaching their 20s or sometime after Gen 4, which is like the halfway point in general, um, obviously, we will most likely move towards removing the bug Pokemon, if not sooner than that. Shoo, hey, check it out. Free item. That's a Paralysis Heal. Not as good as an Antidote. Cascoon, this should be a pretty easy beat. One little tackle, and you're done. Ah, no, never mind. It is a very hard Cascoon. I wonder if I can actually successfully beat this thing down. I'm guessing two more moves. Come on, two more. Okay, one more move. Even better. Alright. Oh! Trippy dude. Uh, no, I have not. Oh, no. Uh, it's Team Aqua. They're gonna try to rob this dude. <laughs> But I guess we're going to have to shut that down, aren't we? Come on, Team Aqua Grunt. What do you got? You have a Poochiana? Well, so do I. Although I don't think I'm going to be using him for this entire battle. Oh, oh, you got a bigger attack? I'll take this. Okay, so... Actually, that, that's actually concerning. We're going to go ahead and use Sand Attack to try to decrease the chance of this thing actually landing a good damage attack. And that didn't really do much, did it? Alright, and the uh, absence of that as an option, we're just going to continue biting it. It's like two playful props wrestling. So one of them works for a criminal, and the other one is mine. Take that, Team Aqua Grunt. You're tough. Yes, I am. I am a protagonist. 
Uh, new. Okay, cool. So I guess we're going to Rustboro. Great ball, free ball. Yes, they did. Bye bye. See you later, dude. Hey, you. Hey, can I XP farm off you? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just do that. Just, I'll just avoid this tall grass that is uh, on the way to the town that I'm going to. There we go. I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think if you take bug Pokemon to school, it'll be popular. As a matter of fact, I don't think anyone's going to take you seriously. Alright, um... It's still not really worth it to bring Boil out, so we're just going to go ahead and keep using Biter. Honestly, at this point, I think my, uh... Oh, oh. Um... Yeah, we're going to have Zuko finish this. Harden? Well, I guess that just means you're gonna cook better. Take that, ninja thing. That would actually be a bug Pokemon I'd be okay with working with. No, I'll just burn this one too. Get roasted, bug boy. Alright, 82 experience. Defeated James. No, you can't. You'd be popular anyway. You're a bug... Bug trainer. Found an ether. I don't know what that is. I actually don't know what that is. I don't know what they do. <laughs> Alright, cool. We have successfully made it here. Now, if I remember right, I have to beat a couple of trainers. So... I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion on Biter real quick. Grab some berries. Do, 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 do. I think this guy's a trainer, so we have to... Oh, good. That's uh, the TM move, so if we ever catch a grass Pokemon, we can uh, use it on him. In one of my last runs, I had a Shroomish who I taught that seed spitting move, so... Oh! Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We can fight. I'm gonna beat you up. Oh, it's a low tad. Well, it's a good thing I'm not leading Torchic. Or Zuko, I guess. I'm just gonna tackle you with a puppy dog. Who is not very easily astonished. And is almost out of moves. 94 EXP! Shroomish! Yes, we're gonna swap out. That's an easy one. Uh, he's the bug Pokemon, why not? I know it's not a permanent member of the team, but he needs some XP. Alright, let's go ahead and do Poison Steam. Yeah, it's not very effective, is it? Get poisoned. Wow, Boyle, you are just really sucking today. You're gonna get the boot a lot faster than I originally predicted. I have a feeling... Yeah, I'm just gonna have Biter finish you off. Because you... <laughs> you are absolute garbage. You are just straight up fodder, dude. But hey, it was cool to watch you evolve. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have battled me. But again, I'm a protagonist. What did you think was gonna happen? Um, don't think I challenged you, but I mean, sure, money, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, you're gonna challenge me with a zigzagoon. And it's gonna growl at me. Okay, I have 13 more tackles in this thing. So, Poochiana, you need to level up and uh, get better moves very soon. What? 
Don't you full restore on me? No, you know what? Screw this. We're gonna burn it to death. Go, fire chicken. Get embered! And scratch it. Alright. Suku is up to level 12. I don't know. It's probably because you suck. And you're not a protagonist. Ah, double battle. I have to uh, rearrange this a bit. And boom. We are twins, so we battle together. That makes sense. I mean, hey, why would twins have any individualism when they could just not do that? Okay, this is pretty reasonable. Alright, you are going to tackle the low Ted, and you are going to burn the C-Dot. I know it's apparently not a great Pokemon, but I actually hope I get a C-Dot. Although, I would honestly rather get that Psychic thing more. Tackle, and scratch -all. Cool, we got it. Easy money. Yeah, you did lose. And we'll come back for you a little bit later. What's this? We're at 104. So I think I get another free encounter over here? No, I don't. I just go straight into the city. Alright, well... Let's go heal up the team real quick. And I believe there's a gym in this one. So we'll go ahead and start the next video. We'll take a look at what kind of stuff we gotta do for that upcoming gym. And yeah, that's about it. Um, super excited to see how this game goes. And yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day.